in the AP 2101. Lock happen. Someone set up us the bug. We get signal. Lock. Main screen turn on. It's you. How are you, gentlemen? All your base are belong to us. You are on the way for destruction. What you say? You have no chance to survive, make your time. Ha ha ha. Time of day. Welcome to Low Res Air Fortress. Your pilot today is weird and terrible, and the host of the show. My name is Mr. Matt Internet, and you're watching Low Res, the comedy gaming panel show. The exits are located somewhere here, 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 possibly here. Who knows? But did you know Quackshot features backtracking expansions of areas based on pickups and thus is technically a Metroidvania? However, it predates Castlevania Sympathy of the Night, so surely we should be calling them. Me tails or duckroids or god. I'm definitely calling them duckroids from now on. I was gonna say it sounds like hemorrhoids. <laughs> I'm definitely calling them duckroids. <laughs> I'm worried they're gonna crack. I prefer Ooh. my duckvania. If they pop, it's got quack. <laughs> Introducing first, she is a streamer. She's just like Bayonetta as she's fueled by platinum, and she is also the team captain of the A team. It's only Adrian's Revenge. Oi oi. Hey, Dim. Oh, I'm in continuing existence. How are you doing tonight? Pretty much the same. <laughs> Joining her, streamer, horror fanboy, member of the excellent Clock Tower stream team, Team Stream Team. If you want maximum fun, say his name like your Tim Curry in Command and Conquer. It's Jace Invader. Hello. How are you doing? Greetings tonight? from the greetings from the SS um uh, low res. The SS low res, okay, sure. And slotting in nicely into this tower of power, supporting team member for the Twitch AI chatbot, streamer, council member for the Wheel of Struggle, Lara Croft cosplayer, and I think the F stands for fungible, it's Decky F. <laughs> you all right, mate? I was told to go underwater. I think we were going in the wrong direction. We, we've got a ship, but we're not going down, we're going up. Oh, my apologies. We'll catch up with whatever the hell's going on with your team in just a moment, but first, <laughs> and on the other team, alleged speedrunner, Mr. Blobby fan club member, Mr. Blobby cosplayer, Mr. Blobby lover, Mr. Blobby is in his spirit, it's in his blood, it won't go. Team Captain Garlips! I love Mr. Blobby a long time, he's my, he's my friend. <laughs> What a guy. Uh, me or Miss Blobby? <laughs> Alongside him, a portable gaming handheld advocate, streamer, content maker on the used tubes, and one day he will open a rescue center for neglected consoles. It's Ben! <laughs> Pixel Portable. Hello. Thank you for having me here, Captain. I'm loving this radical ship. It's fantastic. Finally, host of One Credit Carnage, streamer, content maker, and ultimately this show's version of the Konami code. Somehow, we've tempted him back. It's 16-bit Hyper Turbo! Wow, it's awesome to be here. Thanks for having me again. I love it. I love it. Adrian's team, how are you feeling tonight? I am so happy to be back. I've missed you guys. I've really missed doing this. So I'm so happy to be back with Decky and Chase. And also, obviously, with the lovely Garlips, Pixel and 16 Bit as well. As well as yourself, Mr. Matt. Missed you all. Oh, We're ready you. for season two. We are indeed. Yes, I've, I've missed everyone here. There's been many, many tearful nights. That's <laughs> making me choke up. <laughs> and and your theme harder. tonight. Oh, oh, yes. What was that then? I said harder. Harder. You said choke me up, so I was. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even go into the rounds. We've already got an NFW. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what did you say? It wasn't me that made that dirty for a change. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? It's a new season. Adrian's trying hard not to be smutty. Fantastic. <laughs> 
<laughs> New Year's resolution, don't be a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough not to be sometimes, though, isn't it? Yeah. See, it's funny, because my resolution is to be more of a hoe. You should all just be yourself, you know? If you're a hoe, be a hoe. If you're not a hoe, <laughs> be a hoe. <laughs> Can we can famous... edit, put a quote for that up as well? Like, yeah. You know, hey, famous hey, hey. proverb from 16 bit. It's 2024, it's time that we rise above ho shaming. Yeah. I I would end up recommending that we all end up loving all of our garden tools, not just the hose, okay? Mm. <laughs> yeah. It's it is like... Santa's motto after all. Deki, I presume there's a theme because you're you're sat in some sort of gold dome thing. Well, I, I was told there was a ship, and I met Jace and I met Adrian on on by, by the beach, and assuming there would be like a boat, you know. And then I was told, why, why don't you just kind of put on the suit and then go into the thing? And then some flying thing came along and picked them all up, and I'm kind of just stuck here. So, and I'm starting to run out of oxygen, and it's very itchy in here. And I, I, I'm not sure what to do next. Um, However, I do luckily have the GoPro, so that's why I'm here. I, you can see me, but I technically I'm on. Well, that is the best I could really come up with right now. <laughs> it's beautiful, man. Um, I, I am hoping that we can end up getting you some some air. So if you would like to end up donating some air to Decky and keep him alive during this recording, then please use the hashtag air in, in the comments below, please. <laughs> Catching air is what I'm about, Miss Mr. Matt. Oh, well, well, that's a separate thing. You're catching the air with the airship. Decky is running out of air because yeah, he's under so the I airship should, in the water. So I should give him some air after Jeez. I catch it. Garlic's team, uh, let's end up uh, flipping over the disc, inserting disc two, and ask you how you're doing tonight. Oh, most fabulously, thank you. I just had a Chinese before we started. I'm... I'm... You're okay. radical. One would say radical, Brother Pixel. And Brother 16-bit. Oh, oh, geez. We've, we've, ha, look, you have three stooges. <laughs> <laughs> the three, the three dooges. <laughs> I talked to my financial assistant uh, moments before he got incarcerated for something that wasn't his fault. Doesn't matter. Anyway, he said to me, "If you want to make some money, right? You know, why don't you start a religion?" So I've started a religion with my friends here. Wow. So you're, are you going door to door knocking and all that sort of business? Uh, yeah, we are. We are the church of the cool, radical, bodacious folk. Um, and we just believe in all things radical because of course 16-bit has a bot. If anyone who doesn't know, in 16-bit stream, there is the Super Rad Bot who is most radical and yes. regales us with things about pogs and stuff. Uh, yeah, so Super Rad Bot is actually our, um, what do you call that, the, the Jesus? What, what, what was Jesus? Your Messiah. Uh, yeah, so he was one of them things, right? And uh, he'll come up with proverbs and everything through the AI that is magically making him spit out all this shit, right? And we take it for gospel, and eventually we're going to write this down into a book, the Book of Rad, and then pass it on from generation to generation, and hopefully inspire more people to join the Church of Rad. You just heard one of his sermons, you know, one of his positivity yeah. sermons. That's identical to the pamphlet I received. Strife for Taylor, I did not pay for this advertisement. I didn't. <laughs> I would say anything from 1989 to about uh, 2001, we, we think is radical and bodacious and, and tubular. Mm. Um, mm. I'm not a skateboarder or a snowboarder or anything cool like that, but I do have a fingerboard that I, that I bought the other day. It reminded me of my, my time in the schoolyard. Well, what, what is that one? I like that. Like, what is that? I had a finger it's a is it? That's a tech cool. deck. I know, but what's the what's the deck on it? I missed. It's, it's like the Virgin Mary. Virgin Mary or something, yeah. It's the Virgin Mary. <laughs> it's a sign. That's perfect. You must That's be very good at fingering. Yeah, I mean, now. Um, but so it's what just, I thought was, I'd do something really cool, right? I've got I've got the fingerboard. Instead Are you ready? Of wood, this this yeah. is like a sermon, right? This is like um, I've also got a statue of Big the Cap, coolest motherfucker in the world. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe we should all get fingerboards, and instead of cru crucifixes, <laughs> it will be that that we're wearing. Oh, Behold. that's a nightmare feeling. It's been a while since I've been fingerboarded. Come <laughs> <laughs> uh, down Sunday morning. We waited for the update to download and install, and we found ourselves yet again in the lobby of Game Sharks teams. I'm going to give you five games to put into the order of first release. Adrian's team. Arrange these RPG titles in release order from first release in any region. 
Final Fantasy, Dragon Quest, Star Ocean, Fire Emblem, and Fantasy Star. Oh, that's so difficult. Wow. Okay. That's right. a, There's that's a few so close, close releases yeah. there. They're super close. I think Fire Emblem's going to be the last. Can we get developers, or is that not a no-go? It helps me out with one part of it. Squaresoft. <laughs> Squaresoft. Yeah. <laughs> Who does Star Ocean? Choice. Um, Ninten Nintendo? Yeah. And Sega. I'm actually baffled. I was going to say Dragon Quest, Final Fantasy, and then... Dragon Quest, Final Fantasy. Um... Um, I think fantasy, I think Fantasy Star would be next. Fire Emblem? No, that's got to be that Fire Emblem's got to be last, isn't it? Yeah, I think Fire Emblem was last. And Star Ocean's what Sega era, isn't it? So Star Ocean was PlayStation. I think the first Star Ocean was on PlayStation One or Two. Is there one on Dreamcast? I thought there was one on Dreamcast. That's Star Ocean's like yeah, I'm largely and Fantasy Star the ones I'm very unsure on. Those the only really ones I'm unsure one. about is. Uh, Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy, which one of those came first? Because I want to say Final Fantasy might have come first. If they were going to go bust, yeah, then they came up with Dragon Quest after they nearly went bust. But I mean, your logic makes sense though that the Dragon Quest would come before because they thought it would be their final fantasy game. Mm, but I yeah. thought the whole thing with uh, Dragon Quest was that um, what's his face from Dragon Ball did a lot of the art for it. Oh, uh, Kira Toriyama, yeah. Yeah, and that would want to be incorporated with the better graphics of the Super Nintendo. And I know the original Final Fantasy was on the regular Nintendo first. In oh, Japan. yes. Dude, okay, so maybe Final Fantasy first, Dragon Quest second. It might have been like a year or two off, I think. Yeah. And then Dragon Ball, yeah. And then just the last, yeah, Fire Emblem yeah, last, and it's I'm just Star Yeah. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure. Final Fantasy first came out in like 87 or 88. It's definitely late 80s. It was late 80s, 80s yeah, because. Yeah. I feel like Dragon Quest was later than that. I'm going to need you to end up uh, putting in an order soon. Yeah. So we, do we do we agree that Final Fantasy first, Dragon Quest second? Yeah. Mm. And then I'm. this is my guess. I'm going to say Fantasy Star, then Star Ocean, then Fire Emblem. Do you know what? I'm actually happy with that. That's good, yeah. Yeah, and, I'm yeah. with that. Oh, you are going to be kicking yourself because unfortunately, you're not correct. It's actually Dragon Quest releasing first in May 27th, 1986. Final Fantasy in December 18th, 1987. Fantasy Star, December 20th, 1987. Fire Emblem, April 20th, 1990, and Star Ocean releasing in July 19th, 1996. That was that so was, difficult. That was tight. <laughs> Holy fuck. I'm happy because I had the it's... right except for the first two switched around. You said Fire Emblem was on <laughs> yeah. 1990? Uh, yeah, Fire Emblem, the first of Fire Emblem title yeah. was the 20th of April, 1990. Wow. First came out on the Game Boy Advance. I for sure it thought Final Fantasy was the first one. It was I mean, I got the year right for Final Fantasy. It was 87. I just didn't yeah. think Dragon Quest was that early. I thought Dragon Quest was in the 16-bit era. The thing that really surprised me was um, Final Fantasy being released on December 18th and Fantasy Star being released on December 20th. Ooh. Ooh. So the difference of two days between those. And <laughs> well. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> Garlip's team, you are going to now end up uh, having your own difficulties and troubles of these because uh, you need to arrange these first-person shooters into release order. Call of Duty, Battlefield, Medal of Honor, Quake, and Turok. Where's the fifth? Oh, that would have been so much easier. Well, Medal of Honor, Quake, and Turok. Right, okay. Yeah. I'd be going Quake first. I'm going to guess as well, actually, on my phone. Or is it Turok? No, it's Quake and then it's Turok. Unless there's some weird release of Turok that I haven't even heard of before. Turok was Nintendo 64, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I've got a provisional order here, and I want to talk it through with you guys because I'm really not sure about it. Uh, again, because I feel like the first two could very easily switch around, and that's what's, what's thrown me. So I definitely think... Um, I remember all of those like old-school um, World War I, uh, World War II shooters, um, like COD, 
I think like COD was the. F- I want to say COD was before. Uh, it's it's COD be before Metal of Honor is the first question I want to ask you. Because PS1 was the first one, right? I think it was on PC too. Yeah. I, I remember years and years ago going to my friend's house and their little brother was playing Call of Duty on the computer, right? Mm. And. I, I I still I mean I'm still pretty sure that Quake was out before them too. Quake is pretty old. Yeah, Quake yeah, is yeah. pretty old. I've got I've got Quake Chirok, but it could it could be Chirok Quake as well. It That's could also one. be Quake uh, C O D Turok. A Turok N sixty four, um early N sixty four is one of the first titles for it. I would definitely state Quake as being the first in the list. Yeah, so if we go Quake to Rock, then I, th- I think Battlefield at the end, and I'm just in two minds about COD and Metal of Honor, because I remember COD really championed the World War II shooter, yeah. and a whole bunch of them came about because of COD. But I don't know if Medal of Honor snuck in one first. I would say Medal of Honor of... is earlier. And the reason I think that is because that's the sort of tomfoolery Matt would pick as, uh, as the questions. <laughs> Or is that what he wants you to think? (laughs) No. I think the original Medal of Honor, for some reason in my mind, I have have it attached to someone like one of those big direct... I want to say Spielberg. I want to say it was his like game studio or or something to do with it. Interesting. Um, Something niggling in the back of my head about Medal of Honor. I just don't know if Medal of Honor came before COD or after (laughs) because COD classic for for reference. Uh, The the remake, uh, remaster of the, the first one. Xbox uh, 360 came out in like 20, 2010. It was classic then. So I'm thinking mm. we're, we're talking about like at least 10 years. And Medal of Honor, I, I, first Medal of Honor I can imagine is on the PlayStation 1. Because um, yeah. I remember it didn't even have dual stick controls. Yes. Um, so for me, it's just whether COD was earlier than that or not. And I just, I don't know. Hmm. I say we put two bullets into a gun and we spin the cylinder. Yeah, Big man. Roll dice. Flip a coin, roll a dice. I mean, I would this game's yeah. changed. <laughs> I, I would go. Season I would two, go, baby. Season Cod two, baby. Medal of Honor. We, I would go COD Medal of Honor, but then I would never played those games, so. Ah. Uh, oh. Yeah, because they're both triple barrel named, right? And it's just which ripped off who. Yeah, Call of Duty, Medal of Honor. Um, I feel mm. like I feel like COD was first, but I, that's just a gut instinct, and I'm. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. My gut's full of Chinese, so I might be. Wrong. <laughs> let's uh, <laughs> let's let's live radically. Let's fucking. Yeah, let's just let's just own it. Let's dedicate. Yeah, Rather, it's it's right. correct. Let's just let's just be do radical and bodacious and no. believe in ourselves. Quake, yeah. Turok, Call of Cod. Duty. Yeah, Mao. Mao? Medal of Honor, for clarification. Yeah. And, then the, and then the other one is... Battlefield. Battlefield. Earth. Wow. Okay. Well, after all of that deliberation, um, you guys are going to be so very, very, very impressed with yourselves for getting it so absolutely wrong. It was actually this order. Quake, released on the 22nd of June, 1996. Turok, Yay. March 4th. 1997. Medal of Honor was released the 31st of October 1999. Battlefield was released oh. on the 10th of September 2002, mm. whilst Call of Duty was released on October 29th 2003. Wow, I got them wildly wrong at the end there. Yeah. Shit, never mind. First two, though. That happens. That happens. We're still radical. That's all that matters. Yeah, we're still radical. At the yeah, end, it's... You have to remember that this is season two, baby. This is season two! And we're going more effort, more effort it required. Gets, it gets so after that exciting round, we found ourselves IPS patching the ROM, seeing what mess we've gotten off of Nexus mods, and are entering the any percent randomizer. It's really hard to see through this. <laughs> I, I can imagine it, it's probably hell. <laughs> it is. It really is. <laughs> it is. So I like to chew my wire though. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> is that dental plus? It can be. I'm just going to sit here and eat my helmet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. 
I should have thought about that before I said that. Oh, nah. nah. <laughs> we consumed way too much thick blobby <laughs> now the weekend. <laughs> Uh, he's getting, he's getting. I didn't even skinny. notice until he said it. Damn it! Seems I will show you an image. <laughs> you said that. She's gone. She's gone. We have to. We have to take a break. <laughs> just carry on without her. It's okay. She'll be back soon. Show, show us an image of Decky chewing his helmet. <laughs> he's got a big shiny helmet, helmet as well. Is that Stop. what you're gonna do? <laughs> This is our new strategy. Oh, no. ads. Well, gonna, can they, can they edit a mosaic out of Deki's actions right now? <laughs> He's just chewing his helmet. I watched that boy in a bra yesterday and chewing his helmet. I watched that boy in a bra yesterday and now we're talking about chewing his helmet. This is just <laughs> surreal. Oh, oh dear. He, he did the whole stream with uh, with a bra on Deki. I did, yeah. Dedication nice. to the cause. Nice. It was. Done I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, we derailed it. Carry on. <laughs> Am right. I supposed to see this image somewhere else? Don't worry, it's, it's gonna be. It's not posted it yet. Don't they? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> season two, Matt. Oh, yeah. McDonald's Global Gladiators. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna find out what it is. <laughs> Is it Mick and Matt Global Gladiators? No, no it's not Mick and Matt Global Gladiators! <laughs> <laughs> Teams, I will show you an image and you need to buzz in and tell me which games have been smushed together in this mess of a randomizer. But before I can show you that image, we need to deal with something. Adrian, how will you deafen us this time? See, this time we, we were debating what to have and we did have an excellent suggestion from Jace which I'm sure everyone would have loved to have watched low res for over 10 hours. But Decky suggested this one, and as soon as I heard it, I could instantly hear Garlip saying, of course you heard their buzzer first, Mr. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Tactical buzzers. Because we just wanted something loud and obnoxious, so this we went with this. Boom, it's a classic. Boom. Now, Garlips, how are you going to cut yeah. through that? Um, we have a much lower volume one that will be ignored in favour of Adrian's. <laughs> but it is awesome. Uh, it was picked by Pixel. We had another excellent suggestion by 60 Bear, but we went with um, Pixel in the end because it really fits the, the theme of the bodacious awesome. I know, so. mine would have been way more obnoxious though. <laughs> uh, it's this. Awesome! From Global Gladiators. Oh, awesome. From Mick and Mix Mega Drive McDonald's. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> Ten points. Mackies! <laughs> awesome. But you can do this though. You can do this, you okay? Awesome! You really can. Oh. That's oh, not gonna yeah. get older at all, is it? Awesome! Oh, awesome! Mr. Mass to put all of these in manually later. Or as a remake. So, with a maximum of five points available, let's load into that save file that the community uses for speedrunning, and... Awesome! Uh, Garlip's team? Yes. Pikmin. Pikmin, I am pleased to say, will get you a point. Woo! Boom, Richard! Adrian's team? Fallout, obviously. Oh, Fallout was that? <laughs> three, Fallout three, three, three. There we go. Thank Fallout you, Decky. <laughs> <laughs> my heart, my heart. <laughs> awesome. Garlip's team. Um, I think we will go with. Uh, oh, are you going to sting me for which version now? But <laughs> uh, one thing. That, that is Nathan Drake from Uncharted. It looks like Uncharted Four. I am more than happy just to accept Uncharted on that one. Oh, Team Adrian? Um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go with the, I see the Doom guy in the back there and it looks like, I wanna say that's Doom Eternal. I would be happy enough to accept any of the Dooms in this instance, so and yes, Doom. you okay. are indeed correct. Awesome. Awesome. We know that last little boy. Ah, ah, yes, Garlip's team? Dynamite Heady. Yeah. Dynamite Heady does indeed get you the points. 
And there we go. Yes, perfect. So uh, just to end up recapping all of those, indeed, you can see a red Pikmin in the background. You can end up seeing the Doom guy in the far distance. Nathan Drake running up and uh, attempting to do something to our, our lovely character in there, who is inhabiting the Fallout 3 world. And the difficult one in that one was indeed Dynamite Heady. That was I didn't know the Dynamite Heady. I didn't know Dynamite Heady. I didn't know that one either. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. That's I why I saved Dynamite it. Heady for last. Exactly. <laughs> I Thank knew you, it. Smart, smart. Yeah. After those two exciting rounds, I think we should review the scores real quick. IGN have got three points here. The uh, the fantastic A reviews are giving this one a two at the moment. It's not very radical making us IGN. After the break, we will be going right into the demo disc. But for now, you could really help us out by liking, sharing, or subscribing. Go and add a comment or follow any of the lovely panelists we have on. You can do it during the ad break. We'll just be showing old dodgy gaming adverts with minor changes to make it unsettling. Back in a tick. Sega Saturn is the newest and most indulgent taste temptation from Sega. Delivering crystal clear digital video and rich creamy 3D graphics. And each unit is topped off with a delicious DSP chip dedicated to scrumptious, 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 scrumptious CD quality sound. This gourmet meal from Sega goes oh so well with all of these yummy mouth-watering titles. NHL All-Star Hockey. Clockwork Night. Daytona, USA. Daytona! Welcome back. It's yet again time to load up the OST into Monster Archer and see what we can create. It's Demo Disc. Teams, you will have to make noises at one of your fellow team members of a bit of video game music. They have to guess what game it's from, and for each one you get right, you get plus one on points. But if they don't get it, the other team gets a cheeky chance to steal. Adrian's team, you're behind at the moment. Who is going to be guessing? So, uh, Decky and I will be performing for the wonderful Jace, who has to try and guess what on earth we are making noise about. <laughs> Amazing. I apologise in advance, Jace. I really am sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it will be fine. So, uh, for the easy track, can we end up uh, having you take it away? Da, na, 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 da, na, 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 da, da, na, I did not know George Mask. Bang! Got it in one. Fantastic. Yeah. It was indeed the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask main theme. And this is how it should have really sounded. Pretty damn close, I must say. <laughs> I, I, remember, I remember when you guys did did the one for Ocarina of Time when I was there, and I just I, uh, I could not get I it. Think... Everyone's just like, it's obvious, <laughs> it's obvious. And this is why I love the classic Zelda games because I really feel like they have the most memorable music. I'm glad I didn't butcher it. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of butchering things, uh, let's have your uh, hard track now. Oh no. Okay. Oh, okay. We're just both going at this. <laughs> I'm. I mean, I. I love this track, and I'm very comfortable with this one. So, <laughs> okay. Do you want me to start, Decky, and then you can come in when you feel comfortable? Okay. I might not come in at all, but yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try. Wee. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> <laughs> Do 
Settingly memorable, and I can't place it. In it's I, I've got it in my head. head. Same, same. So, Jace. Honestly, oh, it's funny because we were joking about this. That's always Final Fantasy. I think this is Final Fantasy Nine. Well, I think Aiken <laughs> was just a giving it away. I'm so proud of him! It was, <laughs> it was indeed, it was indeed Final Fantasy IX did see. Yeah, fucking get in, Jace. Limbo what? Castle. I love that. Yeah. Final Fantasy IX. I've heard that before and I haven't played Final Fantasy IX. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? It's uh, where I started to hear is when you did like the bump, 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 like that. <laughs> that tri note was like, wait a minute, I know that! <laughs> it must have been in multiple Final Fantasy. You might have seen it on like, YouTube. I feel like Final Fantasy does reuse yeah. a lot of things, but mm. like they'll re they'll mix it up a little yeah. bit to make it sound different. Because that, the limb, I, I think of it as the limblum thing, because yeah. that was where you heard it, but it was very, Q's Marsh was always very similar. <laughs> I think, yeah, <laughs> like a similar thing in the beat. Yeah, I'm so always. proud of you, Jace! <laughs> Garlip's team, after that fantastic yes. performance from Adrian's team, are you feeling confident? Who are you uh, going to be performing for? Um, we're feeling confident, we're feeling cool, we're feeling outrageous and rebellious. Cowbunga to the max. All of those except for the first bit, the confident. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so me and 16-bit will be performing for Ben tonight. Um, we we devised this strategy after no offense, sixteen bit. You didn't get Ocarina of Time. I I don't um, get any of them ever, so that's <laughs> fine with me. And I'd, I'd just also like to congratulate Jason on getting two in this round. When you were on my team, you got zero. So thanks for that too. <laughs> 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 just been a performer. I don't know. You know. You you're, you're always got the swords sitting there on the table, don't you, Garlips? <laughs> We None may be in right. season two, but Garlips is just as salty, folks. It's the same old Garlips salt. I've had time to refine the salt. I've had time to run it through several salt enhancers. <laughs> this is Himalayan pink garlics right now. Yeah, I've had time in my cave alone to, to, to dwell on everything. Well, he's been known as Sugar Lips. Is he now Salty Lips? <laughs> Always have been. Always have. Let's end up uh, having your easy track, Garlips. Did it done? I'm trying to keep composure while 60 bits just going. Skyrim was that? I know what the next track is. Indeed, it was the main theme from Skyrim, and here's how it should have sounded. So, uh, yeah, that's that's incredible. You, you've got another point, and that's also probably the fastest answer we've had on Demo Disc ever. Speed running. Uh, just, I, I don't think it was for the purpose of speed running. I think it was uh, the purpose of uh, saving our sanity from more knob jokes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got plenty left in me. <laughs> oh, God. And that was a joke in itself. Yeah, and I, anyway. you, know what I, I, you know what I've got to say next as well? Garlic team, can you hit us with the hard one now? <laughs> yes. Oh boy, a hard one right here for you. Um... Any fucking clue, Ben? <laughs> I have to. I'm gonna make a guess because well, I may as well make a guess. At the, at the game, mm -hmm. I'm gonna guess Fantasy Star Online. Ooh. It's. You know it's, how it's all Final Fantasy? 
it's <laughs> never <laughs> oh, except <laughs> no, I, I I had no idea, but it was the closest thing I could think of. Fair You're enough. gonna kick yourself when when I end up revealing it. But uh, Adrian's team, uh, would you like to have a stab in the dark on that one? Do you guys have any clue? Um, I, think I have might. a guess. Go for it. I was gonna say Metal Gear Solid. Ooh. That's but actually a- 16-bit was a little bit. 16-bit was a little bit more hip hop, which is not Metal Gear Solid at all. It could have been one of the spin-off titles. Uh, <laughs> but it's actually I mean, none of the titles in this case. The yeah, actual okay. game that they were trying to perform was Deep Rock Galactic. With the track uh, of oh, okay. oh. Here's where it sounded. I get it, yep. Yeah. That's that's really hard though, guys. Like <laughs> that's deep. really hard. I've played oh, yeah. that game too. <laughs> But that's a really hard one. Like I'm going through my head how I would, if I regurgitated it like the way I hear it in my head, would I still have guessed it? And it's like no, I it's wouldn't. Have. That's just that's absolutely. It's hard. Fair. Yeah, that's hard. So sorry for not getting it, but uh, I think that was a difficult one. So after those wonderful noises, our teams are now on these points: Garlic's team on four, and Adrian's team also on four. So we've come to the end of our show. That was fun, wasn't it? Our new airship is wonderful and a feat of robotic engineering. I feel like we've missed something. Like, we, 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 there's definitely something that we've missed on this episode, and I can't help but feel that it's something important, and I don't know what. Do a ring round! Yes, that's it. We are going to end up having another wonderful set of red ring rounds, and uh, teams, I will be throwing game names out at you for 60 seconds, and you have to tell me if it's a real game or not. You get an additional one delicious point for each you get correct. However, you get three wrong. And that is it. It's Rip Run, F's in chat. That's your lot. Garlip's team, are you all ready? Yes. Right, I'm going to start the timer in... Three, two, one, Shenzhen I.O. True. That is indeed true. Peter Crouch's Yeah Boy Shots Trainer. False. That is indeed <laughs> false. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Cello di Poco. True. true. That is actually false, that's one hit. Luke River. Sorry. That's actually true, that's two hits. Turn it boy, come tax larceny. False. Wrong. That is yeah. indeed false. Where in the world is Lloyd Bifflesby? What is this? False. False! That is indeed false. false. Wordament. False. That's actually real. That's three hits, that's rip run. Okay. Ah! <laughs> it was so, hard. Uh oh. There we go. We now need five guys. I'm gonna hold Ooh, the yeah. cat for emotional on. support. Adrian's team, are you all ready? Yes, we got this, guys. Come on. Yeah, let's just do it. Final Fantasy. So. <laughs> <laughs> Always is. So, your time starts in three, two, one. Hot Dog Reporter. True. True. That's true. Tudors, Henry's Rampage. Ooh, false. That's indeed false. Persona 3 D Load. D Load? Oh. False, I think. That is indeed false. false. Fashion Police Squad. True. That is indeed true. Sonic the Hedgehog 4, Episode 3. False. True. That's actually false. I heard the uh, Decky first. Donkey Konga. <laughs> um, false. Fuck it. That's actually true. That's one hit. <laughs> Blast Blue Entropy Effect. Uh, true. That's actually true. Spanky's Heroes. <laughs> that's gotta be true. <laughs> that's actually false, that's two hits. And that's it, that's time. Oh, barely. I need most of those, that's really annoying. <laughs> yep, isn't that funny how that works? <laughs> I'm really sad, I said I was gonna 
get you that W and I didn't. I got you the L. I hey, take you full know, no, no, no. we're all winners here. Yep, exactly. We're, we're all right. winners. We're all winners here. After all of that excitement, I am happy to say that Garnet's team has eight points, whilst Adrian's team are this week's winners with ten points. Yay! Well done, guys. So, Congrat Adrian's congratulations. Oh, massive congratulations to you all. Dog. GGs. Sorry, I just saw yeah. 16 bits precious dog running past in the background. I just, uh, I had to, I had to. I wasn't calling any of you dogs, okay? Not you in the audience either, okay? Adrian's team, your shout outs, please. Gentlemen first. Well, I'm Jason Vader. You can find me on twitch.tv at the same name. Um, I play a lot of horror games. Schedule sporadic, so you just gotta have your notifications on to know when I go live. <laughs> and I'm, I'm Deck. I've got a few things to show. Um, uh, I'm Decky F, you can catch me on twitch.tv, same name, and also on Will of Struggle, where I know a lot of these people, um, and also, if you ever need an AI chatbot, hit stream chat AI up, and we'll hook you up with a real bot that talks to you like a human. But I, I do that terribly. <laughs> a real super rad bot. Exactly. Take it from super rad bot. And Sausage Tron. Sausage Tron hates me. <laughs> <laughs> Still. So yeah, um, Adrian's Revenge, you know me. You can catch me on Twitch and Instagram. Um, and also a shout out to my wonderful cult partner, Spanky Rambles, who I help stream with on a Sunday night as well. You can catch us there too. Beautiful. And finally, consolations and commendable efforts to Garlips. 16-bit Hyper Turbo, and of course, Ben at Pixel Portable. Thank you. I'm going to start a new church. It's based around Big the Cat. Um, he doesn't have emotions, and maybe that's how I should be, because I'm just <laughs> always, I'm, I'm a loser. Like, I'm a 90s loser. I'm like, this much. Uh, ah, no, man, that's oh, not, that's not, that's not about. You're a winner in our hearts. Not about that. You gotta be, it's not a radical sentence. You just got to be you know, chill and accept it, and uh, it's fine. Because we're all winners. It sounded a lot better before the wheels come up. I've got to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're good, bro, you know? We'll, we'll get him next time. Yeah. We'll get him, we'll get him next time. And, you know, maybe if I'm on the other team, then maybe maybe I'll help them lose. <laughs> Sabotage. <That's a> <laughs> it's, a, it's a strategy, I suppose. <laughs> Finally, we are at the end of the show. A big thank you to our guest tonight and a massive thank you to you for watching. Don't forget to do the social stuff, drink some water. And don't forget to wax your memory cards to make them load faster. And join us again next time for more low res. Bye for now. Joining her streamer, horror fanboy, member of the excellent cop. Excellent cock! Excellent cock! Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> he does have an excellent cock. I mean, thank you. It's a great compliment. <laughs> it's a great compliment. That, that is. is an excellent cock. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shark, Jesus. not a cock! <laughs> I was going to say, just please change that surreptitiously later to get rid of the shark and put a cock. <laughs> 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 You know, you know what I was doing? You know what I was doing? So you see that the picture that's in the fucking live chat there? No. <laughs> I was I was clicking that. <laughs> oh shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go. That's never change, never change. Bless you. Don't worry, I've 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 stopped trying to change in a while. Anyways. 16-bit came to us from the 90s, okay, directly. I just, just never left. <laughs> yeah, telephone booth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I remember them. My God.